Today, students, in this video, you will learn how to solve for x and y intercepts. So before we proceed with the examples, let us first define the terms that you will be meeting all throughout the video. First, intercepts. The intercepts of a graph of a rational function are the points of intersection of its graph and an axis. Second, for intercept, we have two types. The first one is y-intercept. The y-intercepts of a graph of a rational function r of x, if it exists, occurs at r of 0, provided that r of x is defined at x is equal to 0. The second one is x-intercept. The x-intercepts of a graph of a rational function r of x, if it exists, occurs at the zeros of the numerator that are not zeros of the denominators. Let us now proceed with the first example. r of x is equal to x plus 5 all over x minus 2. We will solve first for the y-intercept. To do that, remember that in the definition, it says that y-intercept occurs at r of 0. Therefore, we will let x be 0. To do that, we will substitute 0 to all variable x in the given. So it will now become r of 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 all over 0 minus 2. The next step is to perform operation both in numerator and denominator. We will now have r of 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 is 5 over 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Next, we will change r of 0 to y, and we will now have negative 5 over 2. Remember that when we are looking for an intercept or a y-intercept, we are expecting a point in the form of x, comma, y. Let us now find what is that x and y. Alright, so earlier, we let x be 0. Therefore, our x in here is 0, comma, the computed value y, which is negative 5 over 2. That is now our y-intercept. Same given example, r of x is equal to x plus 5 all over x minus 2. This time, we will try to solve for x-intercept. Remember that in the definition earlier, it says that x-intercept occurs at the zeros of the numerator that are not zeros of denominator, which means we will get the x-intercept by equating the numerator to zero. We will now have x plus 5 is equal to zero. Then apply APE, add negative 5 to both sides of the equation. I will now have x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, I will now have x is equal to negative 5. Remember that when we are solving for x-intercept, we are looking for a point in the form of x, comma, y. So our x in here is negative 5 and the y is 0. For we equate the numerator to 0. So that is now our x-intercept. Next, for example number 2, we have r of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. We will solve first for the y-intercept. To do that, we will let x is equal to 0. We will substitute 0 to our variable x in the given. We will now have r of 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 all over 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1. Next, apply the operation to both numerator and denominator. We will now have r of 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1 over 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. To simplify, we now have y is equal to 1. Again, 
to get or to determine our y-intercept in the form of x, y. For x, we have 0. And for y, the computed value 1. So this is now our y-intercept. Same example, r of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. This time, we will find the x-intercept of the given. To do that, try to factor the denominator since it's factorable. We will now have r of x is equal to x plus 1 all over the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1. Notice that we have similar terms to both numerator and denominator. So we will cancel that out. Then, the equation now will be r of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1. Same process, get the numerator and try to equate that to 0. Since we know that 1 is not equal to 0, therefore, there is no x-intercept existing in this example. Next, for example number 3, we will have r of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x plus 4. We will try to solve first for the y-intercept. To do that, we will let x be 0. So let us substitute 0 to all variable x in the given. We will now have r of 0 is equal to 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 9 all over 0 plus 4. Simplify or apply the operation to both numerator and denominator, we will now have r of 0 is equal to 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 9 is equal to 9 over 0 plus 4 is 4. Simplify, we will now have y is equal to 9 over 4. Therefore, our y-intercept in the form of x, y is 0, comma, the computed value for y, 9 over 4. Same given example, r of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x plus 4. Now, we will try to solve for x-intercept. First, let us try to factor the numerator since it's factorable. It will become r of x is equal to the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3 all over x plus 4. Notice that we do not have same terms to both numerator and then denominator which means we will get the entire numerator and equate that to zero. Since we have two factors for numerator, we will separate that in this manner. We will have the left side, which is x plus 3, is equal to zero, and on the right side, the second factor, which is x plus 3, is equal to zero. Try to find the value of x in the left side, apply addition property of equality to solve for x, we will now get x is equal to negative 3. On the right side, since we are dealing with similar factor, we will arrive at a similar value of x on the left side, which is negative 3. Since we are dealing with the same value of x, we can rewrite that as 1. So, x is equal to negative 3. And therefore, our x-intercept in the form of x, comma y is the computed value for x, negative 3, and y as 0. 
last. For example number 4, we now have r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 all over 8x squared minus 4x minus 12. We will try to solve for the y-intercept. So we will let x is equal to 0. We will substitute 0 to all variable x in the given. We will now have r of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3 all over 8 times 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 12. Apply operation to both numerator and denominator. We will now have r of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3 is negative 3 over 8 times 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 12 is negative 12. Simplify, we will now have y is equal to 1 over 4. Therefore, our y-intercept in terms of x comma y is 0 comma the computed value for y, 1 fourth. Same given example, r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 all over 8x squared minus 4x minus 12. This time, we will try to solve for the x-intercept. To do that, let us factor the denominator and see if there are existing terms that could be cancelled from both numerator and denominator. So we will now have r of x is equal to 2x minus 3 because it's not factorable. And then in the denominator, the factors will be 4 times the quantity of 2x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 1. Notice that we have a similar term. Therefore, we will cancel 2x minus 3. And the remaining equation in our given is now r of x is equal to 1 over 4 times the quantity of x plus 1. Then, let's get the numerator 1 and equate that to 0. And we know that this isn't true. Thus, there is no x-intercept existing in this example.